Hey, hey folks, and welcome to another installment of Dave's Impressions. This time around, the cat games. These impressions were taken from playing the game for around 30 minutes. Enjoy! I will say this for the cat games, it's cute. Now I'm a dog person, so I was initially a little put off by a game so richly steeped in feline flavor, but I did find some enjoyment to be had. This only struck me while writing down my thoughts of the game afterwards, but each of the three minigames here is controlled with a mouse. Highly appropriate. First, there's indoor racing. Void the furniture, wake the doggies, grab the rubber duckies, scoot your butt on the carpet, and stay between the flags. There's a high level of randomization to each run based on the placement of everything. Some runs seem to go on forever, others I couldn't even start without a foul. This was my second favorite game. Next was the bath challenge. You have to use the buttons of the mouse that correspond with the colors on screen to grab bath toys for points, but most importantly, stop the cat from being knocked off the faucet. The game is quite overwhelming. Objects come at you fast, and you'll be stopping the shower from spraying you with water on a rather consistent basis. It kind of felt like I was learning how to juggle without using my hands. Not even the Turkish March, my favorite piece of classical music, could keep me wanting to play this for long. This was my least favorite game. Finally, there is Cat Breed Billiards. You get points for sinking the billiard ball with the correct cat on it. It doesn't matter if you don't know your cat breeds. These are graphic representations of cats, so take your best guess. And after a few games, you'll start to learn them. Now, the mouse is very fiddly when trying to target your billiard ball's path, and the game is a little short at three rounds, but I wanted to keep playing game after game. The high scores help with a sense of satisfaction from successfully sinking the right ball. This is where I spent the most time, and it was my favorite game. But I think there are more games. There's a computer screen with a bunch of cat sporting images and a password. I was not able to unlock anything, but I am certain more content awaits those who piece together the mystery. I think the Cat Games is a game made by a cat lover who wanted to make a collection of cat minigames. They aren't the most exciting games, but the presentation sells it and I enjoyed myself nonetheless. Not every game has to be perfect. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope you're having a wonderful day.